Weigh-ins for PXC 52 held at PIC in Tumon. And your official fight card. Fight fans for Fight Night Friday at the UOG Calvo Fieldhouse. Jose Ramirez, 156 pounds, takes on Frank Mena, 157 pounds. Scotty Eclavea, 126 pounds versus Saipan's Jordan Manglotnia at 123 pounds. Tony Rages returns to face Peekaboo Shane Alvarez of Saipan, both fighters at 135. The Hedgehog, Josh Alvarez, takes on Japan's Yutaro Muramoto at 125 pounds. The Boom is back as Kyle Rages takes on Australia's Rory O'Connell at featherweight. Knockout artist Kai Kara Don't Blink France, 126 pounds, takes on Filipino slugger Crisanto Pit Pitunge at 128 pounds. Guam's Tessa Simpson makes her Guam fight debut against Japan's Sarami Takano at an atom weight of 105 pounds. Trevin Jones continues his title hunt as he faces Jeremiah the Kid Labiano at bantamweight. And in the last fight of the night, roll out the big boys as Roki Martinez, 237 pounds, takes on Japan's Oban Takaaki, 243 pounds. Now KUAM Sports spoke to a couple fighters throwing down on Fight Night Friday. Kai Kara France is thrilled to take on Crisanto Pit Batunge in what could very well be a major slugfest. I'm looking forward to the fight. I'm um, well prepared. Um, had a good fight camp at Tiger Muay Thai. So I feel I'm going to be one step ahead the whole time and uh, expect uh, another highlight reel. They call me Don't Blink for a reason. So just enjoy the fight and wherever the fight goes, um, expect to finish. And the Hedgehog returns after beating Mike Sanchez in PXC 50 to take on Japan's Yutaro Muramoto with the Hedgehog saying he prepares to fight a good fight no matter where the action takes him. If this go as well as planned, then, you know, I'm going to have to work with whatever I have. So, you know, if he takes me to the ground, you know, like I'm pretty comfortable on the ground. I can control on top too. So, you know, bring it. It's the fight. You got to do what you got to do. Submit results now from the first ever submission only grappling event on Guam in the future showcase youth match. Stussy Sharoma defeats Ryan Martinez via armbar in 36 seconds. Spike 22 purple belt Mike Titano defeated Anthony Limtiaco via a knee injury uh, he sustained when Titano threw him. It was purebreds Javier Morales over Spike's Justin Beneventi via Kimura in the competition's quickest submission. Figo purple belt Norberto Rosario over Spike purple belt Joey Chrysostomo and in one of the night's most explosive and technical matches Carlson Gracie's Kevin Cruz submitted purebred brown belt Mike Sanchez by way of bow and arrow choke. With the win Cruz avenged an earlier BJJ tournament loss to Sanchez. Uh, JJ Ambrose and Eric Cien fought to a draw as well as Vitas Ed Santos and purebreds Josh Jerome and in the black belt main event and submit match of the night, purebreds Terrence Afflegui submitted Spike's Jacob Guerrero by way of triangle choke in the 19th minute. Be on the lookout for future submit events, possibly in California this summer. Payless's 19th annual Kick the Fat ready to run Saturday, and while organizers pushed early registration, the you snooze, you lose crowd still has until Friday to sign up for Guam's biggest 5K. And remember, this year, Kick the Fat is added at 10K. In other Kick the Fat news, the school with the most participants receives a $500 grant to their school. And with the biggest race event turnout year in and year out, Kick the Fat organizers are prepared to deal with one of Agania's biggest problems, parking. So remember, you too can Kick the Fat Saturday. Early start, 5 a.m. show, 5.30 go. And don't miss the fireworks to kick off the 19th annual Kick the Fat. You're able to register at all the stores. Um, registration is $15 for the 5K and then $20 for the 10K. However, if you register between now and Friday, you will not be getting a timing chip or an official race time. So you won't be able to um, be a division winner either. So parking will get a little bit congested down in the Ganya area. So if you're able to park a around Paseo, around Skinner's, anywhere in that area. We will have trolleys stationed at Proa and they will be um, shuttling everyone down to the site, to and from the site.